Our school, Feltham Community College, won the top G Nation prize in 2007, which was a trip to Malawi to experience the work of Sight Savers International. We're on orientation weekend for our trip to Malawi, and um, we just had an experience of what it's like to be blind using these. A normal journey that would take you, what, 20 seconds takes you a lot longer, and you notice like really subtle things, but they stand out a lot more. We've just arrived in Malawi and it's uh, green and like really green and humid and everyone's pretty shattered. So. Our first day would involve a visit to the Queen Elizabeth Eye Hospital. There we met Wesi Hara, a nurse at the hospital. She was one of the earliest beneficiaries of the Sight Savers programme in that area. I'm one of the beneficiaries, so my training Sight Savers was there for me. Okay, we've just left um, Blantyre, we're on our way to Nchala. We visited Nakande School where they have a centre for the blind and visually impaired. We were given the most amazing welcome as well as a song. The teachers showed us how visually impaired students are taught using pictures with raised outlines so that the children can feel their shape. We're at the Makunde uh, Resource Centre and we've been uh, interacting all morning with the uh, partial sighted and blind children. We planted trees at the girls' dormitories, which is a tradition for visitors. We were then given an assembly which included singing, dancing and drama. And at the end of the day, we all had a game of football. We helped with eye screenings in a local village. The eye doctors there use e-charts to test their patient's sight. The adults have heard from their uh, children and grandchildren at the school about the eye testing and they've walked over sort of two kilometres, some of them, to get here to have eyes tested. This is Etanel, she's 60, um, so I screened her from three metres away from the e-chart. Um, first her left eye, then her right eye. Her left eye found was weaker than her right eye. So we're just going to take her to see the specialist to see what he thinks and his judgement. One of the things I found most striking was probably a 21 year old guy who had uh, cornea scratches in both eyes, which can be like um, healed with medication and treatment. But because a simple medication wasn't given early on, it's developed and developed and just destroyed the pupils. So even if he did have the operation and get the scratches removed and everything, he would be totally blind for the rest of his life anyway. One of the highlights of the trip was our visit to Max's village, where we had the chance to meet people who had been helped by sight savers. This is Maxwell, um, he's 96 years old and his grandson uh, Felix. Um, Maxwell recently had uh, two cataracts um, and he's had them both um, treated and he can now see fully. Everyone in the village was so friendly and welcoming and they taught us some traditional dances then sang for us. introduced individually to the students at Monford School. All of the students at the resource centre are visually impaired and they showed us the equipment they have to use including a braille machine. The students took us on a tour of their school and as we got to know them we realised we had more in common than we first thought. What are your favourite teams? 
Chelsea. 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 Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Brian? Arsenal. Arsenal. There were so many highlights on our trip to Malawi that it's difficult to pick just a few. One of them was when we arrived at one of the schools. There was just like hundreds of school kids who just started running around the van. Going to the village to see the cataracts beneficiary <laughs> called Maxwell, and I thought, thought the whole experience of go going one of those like tribal villages thing was, re was really good, especially when we all got up and danced. Uh, the guy at the Montfort demonstration centre who'd only lost his sight a year ago and yet was so positive and had come so far. We got the football out and everyone just went ecstatic and the whole school came and watched us play football. There was a screening at the primary school where we um, helped with the children and also the people from the communities and now I'd follow them through to the eye specialist if their vision wasn't enough and it was just so amazing.